that it's Patmos and nice of you to join me for yet another episode with our farthest frontier game as we are taking a look at our two fisheries and our smokehouse. Well, they are producing good amounts of food, so we like that. Now when we zoom out a bit, we see the town that we're building, trying to erect a few new houses because, well, we have only space for one more villager, so we do need the extra space. And, ooh, our farmers are busy. Let's put in at least one time of work, but we're going to do that another full year because, well, you can see the weed levels. That's not good. And for the year after that, we're going to set it up with beans and peas again. So they'll rotate between these two. One year we'll have beans and peas, and then the next year we'll have them on the other field. So yeah, that works. All right, one villager born. So now we're totally at the max with all the people that we can have in our town. So let's get some extra houses. And at the same time, we need to focus on where we should head next. Now we are starting our first little bit of a defense line, but well, there's still a lot of work to do to actually complete that. Um, I do think we need to complete it at some point, but I don't think we should take too much haste with that. Why is that? Well, Usually in the beginning, the attacks aren't that ferocious. And maybe, just maybe, if we build like one or two lookout towers in town, we might be able to defend all our places here. But, well, it's always quite tough because if you wall off your whole area, you do need walls to actually protect, or you do need towers to protect those walls. If you don't have towers protecting the walls, then all the walls will do is slow the enemy down a little bit. But that's it. So we need to start thinking about how to defend the area close to uh, the town hall and all our storages anyway. So I'm, I'm thinking of putting up a few extra towers around this. Another thing to get, of course, eventually is the vault so that our gold can't be stolen. Right now they can just walk in, take the gold and walk out again. So yeah, we, we do have to think about ways to defend ourselves. But for now, things look okay, I'd say. Uh, yeah, not, not too concerned. I would love to make some extra money before we actually get into the whole uh, tower business. Because now we can only afford one tower without running a deficit. So, yeah, it's, a, it's interesting. One of the other things we need to focus on, I think, is making sure that our village people will have a better life and one way to do that is by building a trading post so that we can actually start trading and the benefits of that are that if we can trade we can make sure that we can get resources that we don't have yet and that we might need at a certain point so putting an effort in that i think is the right thing to do right now uh, one sick villager cholera hopefully that'll pass here we can see that they are actually building the new pieces of wall they are bringing in chunks of wood here although still a lot to go as well so hmm i think it'll take some time for it to be finished Ooh, a building is on fire hopefully one in town yeah so the wells are close by they can easily put out the fire or at least they should be able to that's one of the reasons you build the wells. Of course, people drink water from the wells too. So um, it's always best to make plenty of wells around your town. Not just for drinking water, but also to put out those not so nice fires. All right, we can't build another trading post. We can go for a school. Now, the school only has a one-time gold fee and that's it. So that could be one of the first buildings to get. The festival pole. Yeah, it's quite nice, quite big also, so mm, not so sure that we're going to get that straight away. Maybe we can start off with the uh, school here, and then we can fit the healer like this, and then we'll have both on one side. The desirability will go all the way around, so that might be really interesting. One problem with the school is we're going to need some clay. So that should be our next step now. Let's get a clay pit and make sure that uh, all that we need is what we can get now here we have a nice source of clay let's empty this one out 
That should be relatively easy. How much clay is in here? 1,952. That's a nice amount. 3,000 in there. So we can just switch this one later on to there. So yeah, this is interesting. Ooh, and the trading post is ready. So we could start trading. I think we should transfer some gold of, out of town. We'll start off with 100 or something like that. So that when a trader comes by, we actually do have a little money to start playing with with traders hopefully we can um, make it so that we can cross trade a bit and make some money on that especially in the beginning of this game making money is not the easiest task i mean we can make a bit of money but if we want to get all the services up get defense towers and things like that you'll quickly run out so having money from trade is a good bonus and of course making sure that you can mine your own gold and turn it into gold bars that's also a very good opportunity to make sure that we get um good amounts of gold in and and that we can pay for all the services and soldiers and things like that so far we have not found any normal gold deposits we have only found one deep gold deposit so uh, before we can get to the deep deposits we really need uh tier four housing which is quite far off for now so let's focus on trying to find yeah maybe a nice gold deposit we can see lots of water here though so if we were to get some extra food by building fishing shacks how much fish is in here 700 so there's plenty of fish in here i think if we do the same as we did on the other side, so build it like this, put a road in between, like this, build a smokehouse with it, that can immediately smoke the fish, that will be nice. Now we can see that right here we have this road. Uh, I'd like to build it straight though, and then do... A little corner here but not too much so that we can build something else here too this will be outside of the wall but that's no problem because we have the gate of course oh and the first bit of clay already came in now that's a nice thing do we have enough workers to put into extra not entirely but yeah let's do that let's make sure that we uh get in good amounts of clay for the school then I think we can also start to plan the school already so that the gold goes into that. And in case of a raid, uh, we won't get raided that badly, I think. So yeah, let's just build it. Let's make sure that they drop all the resources in there. Because I believe once it's in a building project, raiders can't take the gold from you anymore. So they can't steal it anymore. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping. So uh, let's let's find out. I think a raid could be pretty close around the corner now. So yeah, hopefully they will bring the resources into this place soon. Now we don't have too many laborers at this point, so it might take some time. Now a year has passed, so we can see that this field no longer, or this is no longer completely necessary. So let's get rid of this. I always like to keep one of these somewhere around, but first we have to find out what else we're going to do. Now this has an impact of minus 2 on fertility. This has an impact also of minus 2. But this is very frost tolerant. So I think what I want to try. Yeah let's do this, these. Then these and then this one. This will make us. Uh, well let's do a total recap. This adds 1% fertility. This adds 1% fertility. So we're plus 2. This one will remove 4% fertility, so we're now down to 2 fertility. But this one will add 3, and we have 2 of those, that will add another 6. So we're on plus 4 now. This one removes 2 again, so in our crop cycle of 3 years we are plus 2 on fertility, plus 2%. So I think that's good to maintain a little bit of balance and get a very fertile field. And of course this will get rid of all the weeds and the rocks that we don't need. So I think this will be perfect. You can see the impact on the yield by this weed level. Only 37%, about a third. And it's already yielding a yield of 10% less. So the impact on the yield is minus 43. That's 10%. So yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, we have a trader in. Is there something that we need to buy from this trader? I don't think so because buying is a waste of money. 
I just want another trader to stop by and see if we can do some cross trading and make some money that way. Now we are down to 90 gold, so I would say somebody picked up the gold. And yes, now it's delivered. Very good. Well, we have plenty of firewood. We have a good amount of planks. We have some stone and we're getting a nice amount of clay. Still a bit short on logs though, but the wall here is finished. Now that is an excellent thing because that means... Ah, there's the raid. Let's go. Let's see. They come from this side. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, yeah, you should probably run. All right, let's hit the bell. Let's get people into the uh, place here. Now, they might just run for this and try and get the gold. So, I don't know where they'll be heading, but we'll find out. There they come. It is 10 raiders. So, hopefully, yeah, they are usually out to destroy marketplaces. Is this a raider that's just running away? I think so. All right. Let's gather a few villagers and try and fight it. I don't know if it doesn't work apparently, but... Uh, Alright, well, these are firing on these now. I think they stole some gold. Yeah, they stole all the gold, but maybe... Yeah, and there's the gold again. So we shot the guy that took the gold. And all of the raiders here are now gone. That's a good thing. So let's get our villagers out. Are they still chasing that one... Raider? Yeah, but they can't keep up, so they should get back. Well, I think we defended ourselves quite okay. It's not that bad. We lost the gold, but they picked it up again. Uh, I don't think they returned it here. No, it's in the storage again. So let's transfer gold again. Let's make sure that we keep about 100 in the trading post. Still one trader, though, so... Kind of hoping that we would get the extra trader in soon, so that we can do a little bit of cross-trading... The village was raided, 10 raiders, 9 got killed, nothing pillaged, nothing destroyed. So uh, I think that's cause for a little celebration. We survived our first raid and I think we did that in good order. The building needs more workers, 2 new villagers born. That's nice, villagers stricken with typhoid and the building needs more workers. Yeah, we don't have a smart enough worker apparently. Let's see, only 1% of our, our workforce is educated. 1% um, of our people, which means that only about one. There's probably just one educated person. So, yeah, we really need to make an effort to uh, ensure that we get a few educated villagers. Now, there's a big chance when new um, immigrants come in, especially if a big bunch of people comes walking towards the town hall, that one or two of them will be educated. So let's hope they are. Because that would help out a lot. Now, let's see. Yeah, they did this. This is 11 areas. That's good. This one should now move over a bit like this. 12 areas. Well, this should bring us enough fish in now. Blueberry bush. That's nice. But there's a lot of nice stuff here. Some eggs, bird's nest. Uh, more fish, of course. Some deer. And a lot of willow, but I think we have enough willow. Yeah, we have 30 baskets, so we don't really need extra willow at this point. But a hunter could go well here. Now, I'm, I'm very keen on getting a lot of hunters, mainly because we need those hides to get the clothing up. What I am going to do is to make this one focus on the fish and a little bit less on the meat. But as soon as this one is ready, we will be getting a lot extra meat here too. And that should help. Um, another thing that we have not been working on right now, but that we need to start working on, is a good place to store on all our food. Uh, we get a lot of food from the farm. We get food from other areas. How can these be eaten? Oh, there's a stowaway there. Nice. Here we have a forager. I was kind of hoping we had a hunter there, but the hunter is here. Now let's hunt this deer. There he goes. There's another deer, by the way. All right, let's hunt this one too. We need to make sure that all the deer in here uh, get killed, so they won't be uh, moving out. Now, of course, sometimes new deer spawn. It might well be that they will spawn inside this area. But I think if we expand the farms over time... They will move out, so then there's no real problem. 
All right, let's go check because right here we have the beans and the peas and then we have the clover field and the cabbage. So we're going to get rid of this one because it's not working anyway. And then we get the clover field and the cabbage. A villager died. That's not really what's supposed to happen, but yeah, it happens. And now I don't see animals living in here anymore, so that's good. Hopefully they stay out. Still not really big on the logs at this point, but um, oh, that should grow eventually. I think what we need to do is build a few extra houses. And I think how we are going to do that is like this. And then if we build another batch of housing here, we will build another well with it. I am kind of hoping, though, that we get another batch of immigrants in, one educated, so we can really start to educate our people. It's quite tough now to find the educated villager. Actually, I don't think it is easy to find that one. So that ain't going to do us any good. I wish we could easily find it, but um, I don't know of a way. If you know a way how to find the educated villager fast with all the villagers that we already have, please let me know. It's still down to 1%, which means 1 in 100. Well, we only have 92, so there's actually just one person that is smart enough to be working in the school, and I don't know where he is. I mean, we could just take a gamble and, and go over a few buildings, try to find them, but... Um, it would be more than of a long shot than actually uh, having a good chance of fighting somebody with an education. Oh, I'm still checking. It would be very good if we could start teaching people because they will work more efficiently. But I highly doubt we will actually find the educated person. Maybe the red catcher's educated. No. Yeah, it's a lot of work to find that one. We'll leave it be. For now. Alright, they ran out of fish here a bit. I saw earlier on. So those two are actually fishing it empty. I think these ones should do a better job. There's a lot more fish in here. So that should not be much of a problem. This hunter will be doing a nice job. Because there's plenty of deer here. Here too. So that's... A very good thing. And there's a lot of fish here. So, yeah, this one should not run out of fish anytime soon. Probably can even get an extra fishery going. But we're only down to three laborers now. So, might be a good idea to hold off a bit on creating even more jobs. Because we are not able to fulfill the jobs we have at this point. Now, it's also very tempting to just keep building housing and housing in case new people join. But the more housing you have available, usually the more people will come to your town and or to, the more people will get born. Um, and for instance, it's a miracle, but the best way of preventing new births is to just make sure that you have the maximum amount of housing for your villagers. So in our case, it should be 88 housing. And then, of course, no villagers will be born, which is excellent. I did not know that that was a way of birth control. Um, but there is. So, actually, us having too many housing space will just increase more birthing. And it will not impact how likely it is for other immigrants to come in. So, it would be a very nice thing. Yeah, they see, they spawn in here again. Let's kill the other deer that's in here, too. So that at least he won't... There won't be any deer in here anymore. Great. Um, so it will be very good for us if we wait with building new houses until a new batch of immigrants arrives. And then for them we build new housing. That will stall the birds a bit because uh, right now we have 21 adolescents. We have 19 kids and 16 infants. That means that 56 of our population, which is more than half, consists of killed children. And I don't know, that doesn't go well with me. I wish we had a few less kids. All right, there's nobody here. Is this my hunter? Moving to the destination. Yeah, that's my hunter. All right, where's my predator now? There. All right, very good. He is here. Let's have the hunter at least attack him. I don't see anybody here. Ah, there's somebody. 
Now that the hunter is shooting, yeah. Now he should help out. There we go. Perfect. Well, let's have the hunter take the corpse. Good job. Well, we can hear, we can hear the wolves howling. And winter is starting. Luckily, we have plenty of food. Apparently, we did some extra exploration here now. So there's some deep coal. There's some deep iron. Oh, another deep coal one. There's a lot of deep stuff, but not a lot of surface, superficial, I don't know, surf, surface stuff that we can actually reach. So that's not too good. Because I'm kind of hoping that we can get some open ground mining going and get some nice resources out of that. Well, at least we're doing some exploration. Well, not really, because we only have six laborers, so we're not be doing a lot of expor exploration, but... Um, oh, well. I think it's time to start finding that uh, educated worker. Could have well been in the first batch of people. So, maybe in the smokehouse or whatever, so... But these are all uneducated. Let's go... Education, none. Education, none. Education, none. Yeah, so... Those all aren't the smart people, apparently. None. 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 And none. Which is obvious, because we've built that structure after the... Uh, initial structure, so... It really does say that 1% of our population is educated. So there should be at least somebody educated. So either we are missing that person and it's doing another job. Or I don't know where it is. I think we checked most buildings now. Most unfortunate. Oh, there's probably one up here then. That's the one with the basic education, but it's sick. Oh, that's not good. But he should be in the school then. Okay. Well, what if I get you out of here? Now he's in the school. Now we get a new one in here. And hopefully we can cure this one. Because it will be very good if he can actually teach a few people. Alright, the uh, desirability in the area went up, but not enough to get us upgraded. Plus, yeah, not everybody has all the different food types they need. So we need to find another way to make sure that this area will upgrade. Now, one other way could be, for instance, to build a large park. That will get desirability up big time. But there's also smaller ways to do that. Like, that's why I built this... Um, well here the way I did because if we build this here then the desirability goes up enough to have one two three four five I mean maybe six or seven buildings get the desirability up and we can do the same right there so let's build these two hopefully get the desirability up enough that we get a few homesteads instead of shelters that will make them pay more taxes and that is very welcome all right, for laborers only. Apparently our sick person got healed. Yeah, he got healed. Very good. And he's now teaching students. So we should have some graduation later on. Oh, here we have iron at the surface. It's a very small amount, but at least it's something. Here we have some two, 500. That's a better amount. Yeah, we did get newborns. Here we have a deep gold deposit. We already knew that. I think that's the one we already knew. Uh, deep stone deposit. They're infinite, but we can't reach them for a very long time. So basically they are useless to us at this point. All right, let's take a look there too. Here's some another patch of water. Nice watery map. Sometimes you have maps where there's really a tiny amount of water. And it's far away, but in this one, I think, yeah, it's, it's looking good. Now here, yeah, the deer, the deer are still here. Um, 
I think we need to make sure that these move away a bit. Ah, this is the hunter. That's one. Let's get number two. Come on, and let's get number three. That should be all, yes. Then soon we'll be building a few extra farms, because that might help move this over a little bit, because they'll get annoyed with the people so close. And we'll put this over the whole farm area, so it will get all the farm animals first. That should help out. At least I hope. <laughs> you can never be sure, but I do have good hopes that this will work out. We actually have a few logs in store. Not too many, but a few. Plenty of these, so we can get somebody out of here. And that way we can make sure that we get uh, an extra laborer. So now we have seven. We just need to make sure that we don't build an extra farm now. If we build a farm now, we'll be adding four extra people to the farm workforce. And we don't really need that. I think we do need to set up this farm further though. Yeah, right here. Right here we have the turnip and then the clover and then the other one. All right, let's move this one over. Let's get this one out, this one out. Then we'll get the turnip and the clover. All right, so now these are doing the same thing, but on a different year. So we'll be getting the food out every year and all the other stuff. Okay, well, we have nothing to sell. And I don't want to buy stuff because I don't see the reason why we would do that. Let's just keep it as it is. Ah, we have two, ho three homesteads now. Which is great. They should be paying a tiny bit more taxes. Which hopefully will do the trick to... Make us earn more and more money so we can provide more and more services to them. 19 villages graduated. So now all of a sudden 22% of our population is educated. I like that. A medium garden. Oh, that's actually quite big. All right. We have two smaller pieces. That we can put in here. Just to make the area a little bit more likable. And by doing this... We are using up a bit of gold, so when the next raid comes, they can't steal that gold from us. Till we can build a vault and are a bit protected. I think this is a good way to make sure that we don't lose all the gold. Just use your own gold. That's why we have it, to use it. So let's do that. Two villagers born. Yeah, we still have plenty of room. There's just nobody incoming, apparently. How are we doing with the clothing and the... Oh, the shoes are slowly getting a bit better. Clothing, not so much. I guess the tanner may not have enough hides. Do we have enough hides? Yeah, we have only seven. I think we should be getting a slightly growing number because we have more hunters. But it could also be interesting to, at a certain point get some cattle going because in the end once they slaughter one we get hides from that too there's another batch of deer here that we can try and get some hides from you can never have enough hunters they provide food and the hides that we need so just make sure that you have hunters in all these areas and it will be great all right we can move this zone a little bit just to make sure that it always has deer to hunt we are hunting these two. Yeah, that's good. We don't want to run out of deer. You can actually exterminate a whole bunch and then you run out of deer in that area. And that's something that we don't want. So always make sure that you, especially if there's only a few amount of deer, that you don't completely lock in the zone with your hunter and just take all the deer out because that's not good. You have enough baskets. This is looking okay. We actually still have a few logs to spare, which is not too bad. I guess the waiting game is starting a bit. We're waiting on more people and of course our kids are slowly growing up. But yeah, it's just year eight, so it will take at least another three or four years before the 
first actual kids start growing up so that they can join the workforce. It's okay, of course, and we can take one out of this. That should be fine because we have plenty of clay at this point. But sometimes it's very nice if you just see uh, a bunch of immigrants running towards the village. That can really help you out. I like that side sometimes. All right, these are still very busy. Chopping mostly wood and then every now and then cutting a few stones. I think it's now time to start planning the wall a little bit further. But the question is where to go. How big? I think we should not go too big. Um, this is the first town center. Let's say we do another block of housing here. And here and then here. So this is all housing. So maybe if we build this wall slightly over these buildings... I have an idea. Uh, let's build a road first. Like this. And here we'll do another road. That's fine. I don't mind. Because then we can build two gates here. Build a wall in between. I guess we should actually start doing that. Let's build a gate right here. And right here. Let's build just a little piece of wall in between them. And that's the start of a little extra defense. And then the next step will be to go all the way here and, and, and make this interlock with each other. And then all of a sudden we have a whole area that has some walling around it. I think that might be good. All right, now we have 17 gold a month. So I'm going to build a lookout tower. We're going to build it right here. So this will now protect this whole area. That's nice. Costing us uh, 50 gold to build, but 5 monthly. I think we should actually do an extra one already. One here too. Um, because the extra shooting that these two towers will do... Will provide a great benefit to our town. And to the defenses of this area where all the gold is. So yeah, this is the best thing to do, I guess. Alright, this, this is going to use a lot of wood, though. Let's get rid of all this. Oh, it takes a very long time with this low amount of work from um, laborers, but uh, oh, we'll be getting there. And it should be so that the farmers that are now not working should be out there doing labor jobs as well. So it's not like they're just going to their homes doing nothing. They should be out there doing some actual labor work. This one is still completely filled up with a lot of food. I love it. That's precisely how we want to see it. Yep. Alright, do you need to bring some stones and some gold here? I think the gold's in route. No, the stones were in route. Okay. Well, same here. They've already started to construct it, but they need more resources for it. At least it's a start. Ooh, this food storage is also completely filled up. Ah, because of the farms, of course. We're getting in the first yields. 408. And 592. That's big yields. That's a lot of food in here. Alright, so we need extra food. Now, I want to keep the food sellers close to each other. Because that means that we only need one red catcher. To actually work with them. So I'm going to build two of them right here. And then maybe we can build an extra one of these normal storages right here too. Ah, they're building some of the walls here already. Oh, we misplaced this gate. Or did we misplace the wall? Oh, we misplaced the wall. Oh, well, it's easier to move the gates over than to... Uh, move the wall over. So yeah, let's do it like this. Guess that's better. And I think just to make it clear what we're doing, we need to extend the wall already a little bit. Yeah, that should be nice. All right, I want this guard tower done. So at least we have one extra piece of defense. It will also require a worker, and we're so short of workers already, but yeah. All right, well, that's a way to deal with things. We need to keep moving forward. 
We really need to keep moving forward. It seems like this is not fitting very nice, but it's just... Well, that's just how I see it. Alright, they still need some wood there. Ah, some of the wood's going to the tower already. <laughs> some buildings get completely filled up with goods because there's just nobody to take them out and, and move them somewhere. These are out of fish sometimes. Should be better next year. Maybe later we'll move to fishery to make sure that we... Uh, That we can uh, have more fish. Or maybe we can move one of them over here later on. For now we'll leave it there. And yeah. This is slowly getting built. Another homestead should come up. Villager cured. That's always a good message. Please cure my villagers. And now it's the midst of winter. It is year 8 still. But we made some actual progress. And we got past half an hour of this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.